What started a few years ago as kind of informal discussions will apparently become reality. The old Yonkers location at the Merle Hay Mall will become the Des Moines Buccaneers' new home. KCCI's Marcus McIntosh is live with a look at what the new hockey arena will be like. Stacy, we spoke with officials from both the Merle Hay Mall and the Des Moines Buccaneers, and it's fair to say both sides are pretty excited about what will become of the old Yonkers building behind me. It will be a fantastic home for the Des Moines Buccaneers. Nate Toit, president of the Buccaneers, is excited about their new arena that will replace the mall's closed down Yonkers store. Excitement that extends to those who will come watch the games. The fan experience is is going to be best in show in our league, and, uh, and and they deserve that. Good not lane look, Driscoll to the back post, they score! Toit says saying goodbye to the 40-year-old Bucks arena where they won four Clark and four Anderson Cups won't be easy, but says it's time. This past summer helped speed up talks that started about two years ago. We really realized after the derecho that, you know, it was going to be very difficult uh, to come up with the resources to really, and, and even make sense of, you know, renovating the current building. For the Merle Hay Mall that opened in 1959, the Bucks' new hockey arena will continue the reinvention it started years ago. It's a game changer. Liz Holland, CEO of Merle Hay Investor, says the 3,500 seat multi-use arena is the only thing like it in about a 300 mile radius. We are adding what we believe will be, you know, another super regional destination for years to come. Holland is hoping the arena is ready for the Bucks to hit the ice in 2022, but no timetable nor cost has been released. The Bucks will miss the nostalgia of the old building, but feel good about a move to a new arena, and those feelings are matched by what they're hearing. Overall, it's been overwhelmingly positive. The new Bucks Arena will also house a hotel and will be available for things like e-sporting events and concerts. Liz Holland with the Merle Hay Mall says they are currently in discussions about what to do with the old Sears site that's on the other side of the mall. Live in Urbandale, Marcus McIntosh, KCCI 8 News, Iowa's News Leader.